to sing about the beauty and the romance of the Old West. But there's a West you might not know about, just coming out in dude season. That's the workaday range country, busy making your beefsteaks and your lamb chops. There are two facts of life out here. One's grass, the other's water. There's no prettier water in the world than you'll find in the range country, coming down out of mountain snow. But there isn't always enough of it, and it isn't always in the right places. The idea is to get the grass and the water together where the cattle and sheep can use them. If nature doesn't provide, the rancher had to. We've been building a good bunch of water holes in the last few years. Puddles won't do out here. It takes a good big dam, and you got to move quite a pile of dirt. It's so costly, a lot of us couldn't hardly do it until the government rains program gave us a lift. Lots of places there's water underground, too. And with a little help from the rains program, we put in windmills and watering tanks. When you got water, you can spread your stock and use all the grass. Not just wear out the best rains close around the water hole and ruin it with erosion. You get more beef when the cows don't walk it all off going 10 miles to get a drink. You get more beef on the herd when the grass is good. One of the things we're doing in the rains program is to plow contour furrows across the slopes to make the rain soak in so the grass gets all the good of it. It's good grass and water that puts the beef on it. We're looking for the kinds of grass to do best for us. One new kind the range program has helped introduce is crested wheat grass. There are other kinds adapted to various parts of the range country too. They hold the soil. They're good for grazing. Some of them, like crested wheat grass, are good for hay. I don't suppose Hollywood ever showed you a cow hen putting up hay, but we do it. We've even got it mechanized. Maybe the song says the skies are not cloudy all day, but the range country does get some mighty rough weather. And if you want a good calf crop and the beef poundage coming off the ranch every season, you don't just let the cows rustle through the winter. No, you feed them. Every stack of hay on the place is just like another insurance policy. If you read some of the storybooks, you think Bob Wire Plum ruined the range country. Fact of the matter is, a good part of our job is keeping fences up in shape. You see, we're using Bob Wire to make the range country better keep the cattle off a different piece of it each year until the grass has made its seed and gotten a new start. Deferred grazing, we call it in the range program. Along with proper stocking, it's putting new life into a lot of ranges. Good grass and water mean more lambs and wool, too. Sheep herding on the range is a hard, lonely life, living in a wagon all season keeping the flock moving along to grass and water, bringing them up to the shearing floor with thick fleeces to help keep the world warm. That's all part of the year's work in the range country, though, and our folks know their job. They're working harder now because so many things from the range country. It takes a lot of hands at Roundup, too. Out at daybreak, breakfast at the chuck wagon, and then get the horses in. Get a rope on the first pony in your string and saddle up for the morning's work. to be able to take it all day, but he'll wear out a couple of horses. Oh, oh he must have heard me.